Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deidre Squires and today I've got two patterns that I'm reviewing for you. The first pattern is the lightning quick sunglass case. The lightning quick glasses case, um, which was found on lulostitchcompany.com. Uh, it's a quick little sunglass case. And our second pattern is also a sunglass case, which So this is another sunglass case made by, made by Crochet Happens. Because it's the summertime, um, doing really big, heavy projects really aren't, isn't really interesting to me to, to do. So I decided to do two of the sim, similar items. Uh, so you can get two for one for the, um, for the pattern review this week. So, and I will link, uh, I will provide links down below for both patterns if you like either one of them and want to try them. All right, so the lightning quick glasses case. I didn't think it was very lightning quick, to be honest with you. And it could have been me. It could have been the fact that I'm using, I used a pretty dark yarn and I had a little difficulty um, counting rows. So the pattern uses the five millimeter hook, which is the same hook that I was able to use. I used the six millimeter hook actually for this one. And the pattern originally uses Karen one pound. It's a worsted weight yarn. And the pattern calls for approximately a thousand yards. So in the stitches that she uses is, um, a slip stitch and a half double crochet. And it's supposed to be seven, um, seven inches by four and four and a quarter inches, which I believe this is longer than that. I believe this is eight, eight by five. I want to say, I think because when I started, I saw the dimensions and I, when I started, I went up to a six, I went up to the six to meet the four and a quarter, um, inch parameters. There's a front and a back panel. And you go around each panel with a single crochet, which makes it a little bigger. So I, this is a little bigger than the actual pattern calls for, but maybe you can fit two pairs of sunglasses in here. This pattern calls for what the designer calls an even moss stitch, which was a little confusing to me because if you've been crocheting for a while and you know some stitches, a moss stitch is really a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. I mean, it's all about, crochet really is all about like, you know, creative liberties to make things that you want to make, you know, and to provide patterns for other people to make if they want to. So uh, I'll, I'll give her the, the weird, the, uh, the odd wording, I think, the, the even moss stitch. So it's pretty simple, chain 12 plus one turn, um, go into the second chain uh, from the hook and you do, so you do a slip stitch in the first chain, then a half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, and you'll have 12 stitches by the end. So, and you do that for 25, for the front panel, you do that for 25 rows and then from the back panel, that for 30 rows. So it's pretty simple. Um, like I said before, you do a single crochet along both panels. I think the single crochet is also, I don't know. I feel like it, it's really like, you see how it's a little, it's a little loose on top. So I think either I got a little looser in my back panel, which could be, um, um, and that's why it's got a little like bowing. It's a little wider on top too, if you can see compared to the bottom, which is fine. Um, just not perfect, but you know, sometimes crochet just isn't perfect. And you know, it's a learning experience for me. So you do the single crochet around both panels, the front and the back, uh, put them, so you put, assemble them together uh, with a single crochet. And as you come around, the edge, you go up the top and you make a little loop. And unfortunately my loop is not centered, but it's okay. Cause the, 
the button was added on later. So if there was like a, like you created a hole and you needed these to line up, that'd be different. That would be something I would have had to have gone back and fixed. But I added the button on afterwards, so I was able to line up the button with the loop, just like that. So get that back on there. So pretty quick, pretty easy. It didn't take me too long. If you, um, I wish I had done this in a lighter color. I think it would have been easier for me to count my stitches, count my rows. Um, but I like, I love dark blue. It's always been one of my favorites. So dark blue and, and green are my favorites. Um, but yeah, it'll definitely fit a pair of sunglasses. So I have a pair of sunglasses. I'm going to open up my loop. Make sure you can see. So and it just fits, slides right in there. Actually, that fits really well because there's a lot of extra, there's some space so you don't feel like you're squishing it. Squishing your sunglasses. Fasten your button. And you're good to go. Beautiful. All right, so that was the first one. The second one, the second pattern I'm doing is just a sunglass case by Crochet Happens. And that looks like this. Now this was definitely a lot quicker. These, they're, you pretty much make a tube and um, then make a little fastener. And it's, it's really cute and simple and fast. So, but let's go through the specs. So this calls for uh, Karen Simply Soft Yarn, which is a worsted weight yarn. That's what I used here. Um, and a four millimeter hook, which is exactly what I used. So when you start this project, what you do is you make a base chain of, of 14 and you single crochet across and um, starting at the second chain from the from where your needle is, from your hook. So you have 13 single crochet across. And then what you do is you turn it so then you do another 13 single crochet in the other side of the chain. And that's what creates your base. So the base, there's really no assembly. You're, you're assembling it as you go, which is pretty nice. Um, and then you do single crochet all around. Now, what was a little confusing for me is that it says chain 14, single crochet and second chain from hook and across, then single crochet in each of the bottom loops of the stitches you previously uh, crocheted in, and you'll be crocheting in a round. Um, you should have 26 stitches. Okay, simple math there. Continue crocheting in the round. Do not join at ends of round until you reach six inches. So to me, that means you're just going in a spiral. Like you're not really doing round, like it's a round obviously, but it's not, um, you know, you're not fast, you know, you're not joining them. So there's no, you know, having to do like a, a chain to like do another row. So, but then at the end of the pattern, um, at the end of the pattern, cause it's a really short pattern, um, to form loop for button, single crochet in the middle of the row, chain 12 for loop, which I've got right here for you. I've got right here for you. See? Little loop. So you, okay, so you do that, a slip stitch back into the same stitch, which is what I did, and then single crochet to the end of the row and fasten off. So that's a little confusing because we're not, there's no joining of the row of the rounds. So I ended up, what I ended up doing was I, you know, single crochet to the end, like the side, um, did a little, um, chain and then I tied off my yarn and then I sewed in my end. So I had like kind of a nice little end without it being really obvious. So, but this was really, a really quick and easy project. What I did for the button was I folded this down and tried to estimate where it would land, where the button would be best suited. And I'll show you what this looks like with sunglasses in it. So I've got my sunglasses. Oop, see, fits right in. Um, and see how there's really not a ton of space there? There's only about, 
four rows there. So, and I like to make sure my sunglasses are really well secured and really um, covered when I put them in a case. So, and there's the button and you've got sunglass case. So super cute. I think I'm keeping this one for myself. The blue one may go as a Father's Day gift to somebody. So this, this sunglass case also is recommended to what the designer did was added a fabric liner to it, which I don't think you need. I mean, it's a nice little add on for somebody who, you know, prefers to have a fabric lined um, case, but this is really nice just on its own. It's really sturdy because it's single crochet. It's pretty tight. It's not, um, it's pretty sturdy and, and nice and um, tight woven. So I don't think the fabric liner is needed. Two really simple, quick, fun, easy projects to do. Um, I'll show you the blue one again, the lightning quick glasses case. So they're really fun, really easy, quick projects, great gifts for if you are looking to give somebody a quick gift like this one may go to one of the dads in my life for Father's Day. Just, you know, cause I don't need to, cause I think I'm gonna keep this one. Um, so if you're interested in these projects, please I'll link them below, like I um, mentioned earlier. Please give this uh, video a thumbs up, share it, follow me for more crochet patterns. If there is a pattern that you want reviewed, whether it's a pattern that you designed, a pattern that you are interested in, in um, completing, but want some tips and tricks on uh, the best way to complete it, please leave a comment below and uh, I will see you next time. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Bye.